Alright, back to some maintenance, preventive maintenance tasks on the SX Pioneer SX3700. So the next board, so uh, to this point we've done the tone control board, clean the pots, replaced um, the transistors and a couple of capacitors. Again, this is preventive maintenance, this is not a recap. This is just kind of the minimum, right? Um, and you know your mileage may vary with that. Other people may do different things. There again, there's a, a, an argument for recapping everything, replacing everything, but that's not what we're doing here. We're doing kind of the minimum in terms of getting the bad stuff out and replacing it with good stuff. So the board for this segment is the switch and volume circuit assembly. So we're going to pop this out. And see what we have going on here. See, at a minimum, we have to remove this to clean the controls. I'm not sure what, if anything, there is on here. I don't have the schematic or anything pulled up, so. Um, at least for this board. I mean, I have it up, but I don't, I'm not looking at anything for this particular board. Um, so it looks like we're going to have to free up some of the wires from this board over here, probably over here, so we can pop this out. May have to, sorry, I don't get my head in there. It's always fun trying to figure out exactly what how wires you have to move or take out of these these little wire management clips to flip the board around so you can do something with it. So I'm going to wrestle with this for a few minutes and see if I can get this in a better position to where we can look at the top of the board. Boy, that was a chore. That was a chore. So what uh, we need to do here is spray the knobs and switches, clean them up. Nothing to replace on this board that I can see, but there is one of the light blue caps on the headphone board. Um, and these are not to see what these transistors are. I don't believe those transistors are. Oh, they're 1344s. So I'm going to replace the blue cap, those two transistors. I'm going to clean this board first, give it an initial uh, spray with the WD-40, then come back and hit it with fader lube, hit the switches, uh, replace the stuff on the board. Although, you know, I mean, I don't know. Replacing that on the on the uh, headphone board. I mean, while it's out, I might as well do it. But I think it's kind of a waste to do that. Well, that's because I don't use the headphones. So anyway, let's. Uh, I'm gonna clean this stuff up, and then we'll move on to that board and do whatever we're gonna do with it. Well, this board was a little bit trickier than I thought it would be, but we've got it done at this point, so. All right, and this whole assembly, this whole board, pain in the butt to get in and out of here. So, 
be forewarned if you have one of these and you want to pull this board out and try to clean these controls because it is not fun. I had to basically remove every single wire from those little wire management rack uh, clips. So I think that's the worst board though, hopefully. I'm not sure about the, the amplifier boards on this. Okay, so really not much to these boards at all. I'm gonna put this headphone board back in. Just one screw on that. And I'm gonna button this up. Put all the wires back into the clips. So, and I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera because I think you understand what I'm going to do. So this was a really short segment just for this, um, what were we calling this? The volume and switch control control assembly or control board. Uh, so again, just the one cap and the two transistors on the headphone board. Nothing on this board, but I had to get, I had to remove it to get to the controls to clean them. So that's gonna do it for this segment. As always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Probably gonna move on to, one of these will be the, I think that's the equalizer. That's probably protection or some part of the power supply. But uh, we'll see you in the next one.